How you doing? I used to be Jimmy Falcone, a big shot in the New York crime family. Now I'm in witness protection in Canada. But I'll never forget that day. I was forced to leave the only home I've ever known. Cookie, kids! Get your butts in gear! Let's get this vacation started! Canada awaits! Daddy, just because we're going overseas doesn't make this a vacation. I ain't denying it. I was in denial. I couldn't face the fact that I was leaving everyone I ever loved and taking my wife and kids with me. Isn't this fun? A family road trip. Who's up for another round of window uppy downy? Up, down, up, down. Whoa. Up, up, he down. always knows what it's gonna do. All right, you'll be under RCMP protection from here on. Off you go. It's cool. <laughs> Welcome to Canada. Bienvenue. Come along, I have blankets and whiskey for all of you. This will warm your cockles. If it's gonna warm my cockles, I'll need a bigger blanket. I'm Special Agent Straight McCool. My mission is to help you assimilate, keep a low profile, and ensure you don't violate our nation's laws. I'm sorry. Violate what? <laughs> what a spirited group. I loved this assignment the minute I was given it. Let the protection begin. Hop in. You gotta be shitting me. And then they took us to this crazy place called Vagina... Regina. Saskatchewan. But if any of yous are thinking about a vacation up here, forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with a gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds say they heard that they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. City, home of the Jews, the body of mobster Paul Vincenzo was pulled from the Hudson River. Foul play is suspected. Hey, look! Paulie the target got whacked. I can't believe it. He was always so careful. I wonder who did it. I'm guessing Vinny April did it. The Hudson's always been his go-to. Nah, look at the bruises on his face. Must have been Benny the Bruiser. My money's on Timmy, sissy bum. That guy'll f you up. Two ones! Holy craps! Snake Eyes! It was my cousin Sammy! That's the worst nickname ever! No, it's my cousin, comma, Sammy. Comma, Sammy? That's even worse. Your nephew, Nimrod! Snake Eyes Sammy! The guy's in trouble! If we can figure out he did it, so can Paulie's crew! Which means he's about to get whacked! I gotta save him! Ah, he's always about to get whacked. He's a good boy. You know, I still can't believe you stole Cookie from him. Whoa! I didn't steal no one. He was sent to Juvie, and Cookie needed his shoulder to cry on. All I did was show up with a hanky and a salami. You were so sweet, you big lug. You repoed my heart. And you stole mine. And then I stole you that necklace. So I hereby announce my candidacy for student council president. What's your platform? My platform? Thanks for asking, concerned student. If you elect me, I will ban all corporate sponsorship from school ground. Let's send the message that young minds are not for sale. Who's with me? That was painful to watch. What I have to say is important. I, I just can't get anyone to listen. Oh, little brother, you're so lame. The key to drawing a crowd isn't what you say, it's what you show. Thanks for coming to my brother's president thingy. We love you! And I have loved a ton of you. So I want you all to vote for my brother on the day you're supposed to vote, whenever that is. The issues. Tell them the issues. First off, more corporate sponsorship. <laughs> it's no more corporate sponsorship. It's just one word. It doesn't matter. More bullying. <laughs> It's no more bullying. You have to add the word no. Okay. No more funding for music and the arts. I got your message, Jimmy. How can I be of assistance? I got a problem. 
My cousin Snake Eye Sammy whacked Pooley the target. That's a serious accusation. I meant it as a compliment, but trust me, it was Sammy. He left his dice that always come up ones. All us wise guys have calling cards. My dad left an Italian sausage, Cheech left a cocktail onion. My calling card was a calling card. I figured I'd give the grieving family some minutes. I get that. Horse also likes to leave a calling card. Hey, same as Johnny Brandflakes. You gotta get Sammy out of there. When police guys track him down, they'll torture him to rat me out. How could Sammy know where you are? I texted him. Mom, you have to talk Teresa out of running. She's just gonna embarrass herself. Petey, I think it's great that your sisters finally realize there's more to life than binging, purging, and shopping. Are you sure you're not a little threatened by your chances? Are you kidding? I'm totally threatened by your chances. That's why you gotta get her out of this. Petey, I'm not going to choose one of my children over the other. I love you all equally. You'll just have to make the best of it. Don't say I never do you any favors. I never say you don't do me any favors. Your whole job is doing me favors. I know, I just wanted a good entrance line. Hey, cuz, guess who? Sammy! Jimmy. <laughs> hey, everyone, Sammy's here. I'll leave you two to your embrace. But remember, Jimmy, you vouched for him, so you're responsible for him. Hey, how you hey, doing? Good to see you. How's it going? How is the trip, cuz? A breeze. Canadian cops are so freaking friendly. Which reminds me, I got presents for all of yous. Cheech, you son of a gun. Petey, you's getting so big. Teresa, holy moly, you must be the little squirt. And Cookie, I'm sorry I dropped your present in the squad car, but may I say, you look like a million. You're so full of it. Keep it coming. <laughs> Wait a sec. Is that pasta for Joel that I'm smelling? Your favorite. Welcome to rejoin us. Stun gun? Just what I always wanted. I'm a huge fan of your work, Cousin Snake Eyes. I can't wait to learn from the master. Ah! I'm all yours, kiddo. As soon as I'm done catching up with the real master, I am humbled to be in your presence. Really? I thought the folks back home would be mad about how I ratted everybody out. Ah, forget the ratting. Concentrate on the killing. You whacked on Gambini, for Christ's sakes. You're a legend. A legend? Really? You kidding me? Your nickname back home is the guy who whacked Don Gambini. Now that's a nickname. So much better than that Cousin Karma guy. The guy who whacked Don Gambini. It's got a nice ring to it. Wait, you saying I can go back home and they won't whack me? Oh, they'll still whack you, but with respect. Oh, that's so nice of them. But Sammy, I ain't like I used to be. I keep a low profile, stay out of trouble, and now you got it too. Sit down. Let me explain how life here works. <laughs> Gina, if you're gonna have a stun gun, you gotta use it responsible. Give me that thing. First off, you gotta... Jesus! What's wrong with this? They used to have a safe... Take it! Just take it! Cookie, I'm sorry I dropped your present in the squad car. I feel terrible. But you look great. I had to give you something. So, here. Oh, that's beautiful! Wait a minute. Isn't this the same necklace you gave Teresa? No. Mom, I can't find my new necklace. Maybe. <laughs> Sammy, you haven't changed one bit. Neither have you, Cookie. You haven't aged a day since high school. Yeah, those were good times. Remember the time we made out in the confession booth and confessed in real time? How could I forget? It was like, oh, God, Hail Mary. Oh, God, Hail Mary. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and remember that time at junior prom when we kissed on the dance floor and the principal separated us so you gave him a wedgie? It was my very first kiss. And my very first wedgie. Mm. 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 Sammy, get out here! What are you drinking? So, that just happened. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Will you quit talking about my womb? Jesus Christ, you talk! It's not that big a deal. You got a light? I... I can't believe it. Yeah, I know it's bad for me. I'm trying to cut down. I tried the patch. That works for shit. All right, let's get down to business. Your ex kissed you, and now you're feeling ashamed and conflicted. You know exactly what's going on in my heart. You're truly miraculous. 
You do know I'm a figment of your imagination, right? You're too modest. Whatever. These feelings you have are completely normal. You fell for Jimmy because he was a bad boy, but he ain't no more. Enter Sammy. And these feelings won't go away unless you do something about them. You think I should tell Jimmy? Hell no! Do you know how Joseph was when I had someone else's kid? Moping and whining all the time? He wouldn't let it go. Always asking, who was bigger, Mary? Who was bigger? Who needs that, Zorus? So what are you telling me? Get it out of your system. Have some fun with a guy. <gasps> you mean commit adultery? I could never do that. Technically, you already have. No, I haven't. When Jimmy gives it to you, you think about Brad Pitt, Tom Cruise, Carrot Top. I don't know what that's about. The point is, it's a slippery slope. No, there's a big difference between thinking about someone and doing him. I cannot believe the Virgin Mary is telling me to have sex with another man. You're gonna burn in hell anyway, so what are you waiting for? These commandments aren't gonna break themselves. I figured I'd give you a tour. Get you used to your new home. Oh, after that meal, a walk's just what I need. Ain't nothing like that woman's cooking, huh? She's a real keeper. Yeah, cookie's the best. So, you guys happy? Yeah, sure. For real happy? Or I'm just saying that because I'm a married guy and I'm dead inside happy? Closer to the first one. On a scale of one to ten. Sammy, what are you getting at? Whoa, this is the little Italy in this town. Ain't it great? Sometimes we just come here and hang out for hours. How's the food? You kidding me? The place is run by a Chinaman. It won't happen overnight, but you'll adjust. See? Look at them. That used to be us. You're misremembering. We used to sneak up behind wimps like that and take their money. Then we'd force them to tell us where they lived and hold up their parents. Sammy, cut it out. Listen, going straight ain't bad. Especially in a city where there's, like, zero crime. Exactly. It's a freaking gold mine. We're gonna clean up here. No. Look, I pulled a lot of strings to get you into witness protection. Well... One. I only got one string, but I pulled it. So we can't live the old life. Now, come on. Let's go to Little Italy and get an egg roll. This is where I work. It's a good job. A great job. I love this job. Proud of this job. You believe me? Jimmy, this is my bad. I was probably unclear when I explained it. Our policy is that staples must be lined up vertically, not horizontally. That's it. Do you have any idea who this man is? So, anyway, Toby, I was wondering if you could give my cousin a job. You'll just wind up making a fool of yourself. It's not like this is something you even care about. You're the one who'll make a fool of herself. You don't even have a platform. Hello? No, a platform is issues. A president should know this. You don't have any issues. Well, actually, you have lots of issues, but nothing to run on. Politics is a bitch. Bitch. Issues I'm, like, running on. If you elect me your school president, you will get to look at me all the time. And girls, if you don't vote for me, I will so screw you over. Thank you for seeing me, Jimmy. I didn't know I had a choice. Well, you didn't. I was being polite. Although I guess it was rude of me to say that, and for that, I'm sorry. Uh, me too? What's up? The crime rate, Jimmy. And I have no doubt that it's mostly due to your cousin Sammy. You can't prove nothing. Not yet, but it's just a matter of time. If Sammy goes to jail and talks, we'll have to move you to Quebec, and you have enough trouble with English. Do you really want to live somewhere where they speak French? I'm torn. I love their fries, toast, and kissing, but berets make my face look fat. I'm not kidding around, Jimmy. Get him in line, or else. A Canada with a per capita murder rate only slightly worse than Denmark. I just spoke to McCool. You gotta help me with Sammy. What's wrong? The guy's robbing anything he could get his hands on, and he's gonna ruin everything for us. You're being too hard on him, Jimmy. <laughs> Let me see that. It's so much fun, Ma. Best toy I ever got. So this is what a stun gun looks like. Oh, my stun gun! <laughs> my stun gun! <laughs> yeah. 
So where was I? Oh yeah, Sammy. You're being too hard on him. He's a bad boy, like you used to be. I think you're jealous. Why would I be jealous? Did I say you're jealous? I meant Sammy naked. I mean, how can I help? I can't watch him all the time. So when I'm at work and the kids are at school, you gotta keep an eye on his every move. You gotta be on him like white on rice. If he tries to get you off, you dig in and hold on tight. Where he goes, you go. When he comes... Stop it! What? I don't know. Look, Jimmy, as long as we're on the subject of Sammy, there's something I should maybe tell you. Oh, maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. I wish I could have some kind of sign telling me what to do. Guess who just robbed that bank? You idiot! <laughs> now that's what I call a sign. Do you know how much trouble you could get us into? Jimmy, let him go. Let's at least hear his side of the story. Fine. Thank you, Cookie. Okay. I staked out the bank, I hit the bank, I made off with the loot. Right at me! Let me at him! Jimmy, stop! He's a reasonable man. Just talk to him. It took us a while to adjust to the rules when we got here. He's your cousin for crying out loud. Blood. Hey, everyone. I'd like you to meet my new doll. Kill him. And in second place, with 12 votes... Jason Hitler! <laughs> nine! 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 Don't worry, mine Jason. There are better ways to seize power! And your new president, with 33 votes, Peter McDougal! What? How could I not have won? Teresa, you never registered yourself as a candidate. But Petey said he'd do that for me. You didn't do that for me? Politics is a bitch, bitch. <laughs> Whoa! What was that for? Jimmy saves your life, you do nothing but ignore everything he tells you, then you make a pass at his wife, and then you show up with some bimbo! In my defense, I made a pass at his wife and was turned down. That's why I got a bimbo. And what the hell did you kiss me for anyway? It really bothered me. Honestly, Cookie, I've been a wreck about it too. I got caught up in the moment. It was nostalgia. Old times. You look good. And you smelled nice. Knock it off! We may have to move because of what you've done. And as crappy as this town is, this is Canada. Things can always get worse. What are you thinking? I don't know, Cookie. I'm not thinking anything. I don't plan things. They just happen. I'm not smart like you and Jimmy and Cheech. Run and cheese. Who? Where did all that come from? Sammy robbed the first vagina credit union. He's always been a good boy. No, it's terrible. McCool's already on to him. Sammy's gonna get arrested and we'll all have to move to Quebec City, France. I never liked that, Sammy. We gotta get them their money back, but without anyone knowing it was us who returned it. We gotta somehow break into the bank and make them take it back. The old reverse heist. Nobody freeze! Put your hands down and get up off the floor! Don't do what I say or you'll all get hurt. Exactly. Instead of outlaws, we'll be in-laws. Hey, Jimmy, I've been thinking. I'm real sorry about all the trouble I caused. I'll do anything to make it right. You just name it. You're going to help Cheech and I return the money. Did I hear you right? You're going to take perfectly good stolen money and return it to a bank? Those crooks! I've never been so ashamed of this family. Gina. You broke my heart, Father. It's go time, boys. Put on your masks. Too bad the mask store was out of friends masks. I had my heart set on being Rachel. Rock and roll. Everyone freeze! This ain't a robbery! Underground, you mugs. Now! Nobody be a hero! Now, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna open a safe, and you're gonna put this money inside it. Have you filled out a deposit slip? It ain't a deposit! Well, if you'd like to make an investment, you'll have to speak with Mr. Fielding. But he's on vacation till Thursday. I just want to give you this money! I can't process anything without an account number. Maybe this'll change your mind. <coughs> well? I can't process anything without an account number. This must be why the reverse heist never caught on. Just take it, will ya? We got made! Dirty screws! What are you doing? 
I don't know. But we gave the money back! Die on me, Sammy. Not now. Not here. Not like this. Looks like the bastards got me. Those bastards! It was just a matter of time. I lived a reckless life. I took too many chances. Plenty of unprotected sex. Shh. Don't talk. And Jimmy, I gotta get this off my chest. When we was eight years old, I swept 20 bucks from my dad and blamed it on you. I know. It's okay. And when we was 14, and you got caught with all that weed, I was the one who hid it in your locker. Shh, 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 shh. save your strength. And when we were 16, and your sister got knocked up, that was me. You really gotta stop now. All this was a long time ago. And yesterday, I made a pass at your wife. Earlier today, too. You should probably die now. Okay. Let's catch you on la 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 la